Hello and Happy New Year! I hope this year will be much better than last one. I hope you will be healthy and creative as always. So, what is new in 2022? I finally received my new camera. I hope you can notice difference. I'm finally nice and sharp. From now on this channel will have better video quality. So if you have fa fast internet you can watch this video in 4K resolution. Here's few examples. I'm very pleased with quality and I am planning to improve it even more. Plan was to buy Sony A6400 but Sony have problems because uh, global chip, chip shortage so I ended buying um, A6100 and thanks God we don't we don't have same problems like Sony. We have plenty new chips and modules. So here I have uh, uh, new development boards and modules I I'm planning to use in my future videos. So I will show show you a couple of them. First of all, in intro, in my bomb prank, you saw this. 1.3 inch LCD module. This is TFT screen. A resolution of this screen is 240 by 240 and yes it is the same like this one you saw in my my older projects. But, uh, but I decided to try this one because I think build quality is much nicer and also okay and also I decided to buy it because oh my god it have this nice connector because I have few ideas and this will be helpful to me. And I use this display to make this fake bomb. Don't be afraid this is <laughs> just this is completely made out of paper and I uh, use that to fool uh, my wife. So if you want prank someone here is idea for you. It was fun to make and <laughs> it looks like real bomb. Uh, next uh, I have a couple ESP32 boards. This one is TTGO. I don't know real name of this board but it is very nice and compact board where very bread breadboard friendly and it have uh, this uh, battery connector so I will probably use it along the battery with battery here is reset button and very nice you, you will see this board very soon in one of my projects. Uh, next ESP32 board is this. This is tiny M5 stack M5 stamp Pico. This is a really tiny ESP32 board and if you are if you want to program this you will need external programmer. This board also came with this case. Uh, here is sorry here is RGB 
LED, one push button, here is connector for groove connector for their modules. Here we have this nice sticker. I'm not sure what I will do with this, but I'm very happy to have this. We will see. These cables also came with this programmer and and this. Oh, I don't know what it is. Here I have solid state relay. So I'm planning to control some AC devices with this relay. But uh, with this I need to be very careful because this relay can handle only 2 amps of current. So I'm, I will probably control only lights or something which is not current hungry. We will see. Speaker or beeper with built-in amp chip. So here is also a potentiometer for adjusting loudness connector. Very simple. And here is precision potentiometer. When I need to dial some precise value, I can use this. Uh, it whole way is up to 10 turns. I think 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, close to 10. Very nice. And some connectors, battery stuff. So we will see a bunch of new stuff on this channel. I'm very happy. And that's it for today. Tell me what you think in comments. Tell me can you notice difference in video quality. Tell me what you think about these modules and development boards. Don't forget to check the description. If you are here for the first time, feel free to subscribe. And if you want, you can always buy me coffee. Lots of these coffees help help helped me to buy this camera thank you and have a nice day see you very soon goodbye